While I don't get out trackside as much as I'd like to anymore, when I do find some time to sit by KCS, the odds are in favor that I'm going to see a freight train coming from Artesia, Mississippi. I'm usually not able to get trackside until a later afternoon, and by that time most of the eastbounds are already clear, so we're typically waiting on the MARSH to ease through. Most days this is the only westbound that our section of the line gets with solid lighting. Every now and then we'll get an IATDA before the sun sets, but it isn't very often. The marsh usually is through rusting between the times of 2 to 5 p.m. Of course there's always a possibility of it being outside of that time frame. Here we see a marsh rolling under the Bonner Street Bridge in Ruston, right in the time frame I just mentioned, being led by a solo Thunder Cab SD70 ACE locomotive. While solo marshes used to be the case every day, now we often see several locomotives in the contest. I think my personal record is 12. The marsh acts as kind of an uber on the speedway. It'll pick up locomotives from the several yards it passes on its journey. Here we see another marsh by Monroe Street in downtown Ruston with several more locomotives. This time a gray is included in the mix. The size of these manifests have grown significantly over the years. These trains are often well above 10,000 feet long, and I imagine they often hit the two mile mark. In Simsboro, we find yet another marsh, this time with Kansas City Southern's veteran tribute locomotive number 4006. I hope you enjoyed this short video on what we call the marshes. If you're ever on our section of the KCS, you are guaranteed to catch these in the evenings. Though I recommend that you chase them, because that may very well be the only thing you get in the afternoon with that good westward lighting. As always, I'll see you somewhere trackside, and thanks for watching.